Hey guys, as promised, this is part two. We're gonna be cooking our cobia that we caught the other day. Got some beautiful steaks. So I wanna let you guys know this is 48 hours after the catch. I've been allowing this beautiful filet to marinate in some milk. Now, 15 to 20 minutes before you start cooking it, put three tablespoons of vinegar in your milk and that'll create buttermilk, which will help enhance that flavor. So let's jump in. I'm gonna prepare these beautiful filets or steaks and we're gonna make a beautiful recipe. I'm gonna cut them down a little bit in these nice little cubes. And what it does is it pretty much makes them not so thick so they cook a little quicker and a little bit more evenly, I think. So look at how beautiful that meat is. I mean, if I didn't cut them down, you could see here in comparison what we'd be dealing with. It's quite drastic in uh, size here. So I'm just cubing them out, making them a little thinner, and they are beautiful. This is gonna be delicious, guys. All right, and you'll see the texture of the buttermilk on the flays. But I think we have everything nice and cubed out, nice and pretty. That's how we're gonna make it today, guys. All right, guys, you need half a cup of sugar? I'm just kidding. So this is one third cup of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pan here, my little pan, and just shake that out just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna season the flour. I know, that's a little weird. But, and this is just to taste, guys. This is Lowry's seasoned salt, Chris's favorite. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in. Now, this is gonna be dependent on how much you actually want uh, on your fish. If you don't want a whole heavy coat of that, then lighten it up. Then pepper, pepper to your liking. Some people like a lot of pepper, some people like a little bit of pepper. And I'm just gonna do it like that because anyone who eats it can add, always add more pepper or salt. So limit your pepper and salt. All right, just take a fork, just stir this in. You don't gotta get crazy with it, guys. It's just blending it, making it nice and pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up some extra virgin olive oil. What I'm gonna do is go on a medium heat, and then we'll pour some of that right there in the pan. We're gonna, we're gonna pour about two tablespoons approximately. All right, so now that the oil is in the pan, once it starts to get hot, you'll see it start to bubble a little bit. First, I'm gonna go ahead while I'm waiting on that, and I'm gonna coat some of my fish in my mixture and flour here. The fish is already wet, so I'm just coating all sides of it, just like that. Look how beautiful that is. Woo! Let me get a couple of these prepared. All right guys, so now that the oil has heated, these are gonna cook on one to two, for one to two minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of your plate. Like I noticed that my, it was drying up a little bit. I added a little bit more. Just that way I get a nice sizzle, even sizzle on the pan. Yes, I definitely do. Oh, they're perfect actually, at least this one. All right guys, you'll notice that when they're pretty much done, they'll kind of start to flake. That's it guys, pan cooked cobia. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of lemon over this, look how beautiful these little nuggets came out. My goodness, guys. This right here, super simple with fresh fish, I'm telling you. Even the people that say they don't like fish, I tell them to try it, and I guarantee you, 90% of them are gonna change their mind. This is some beautiful stuff, guys. Everybody's out, they've been in here running off with it already. It's healthy, you can eat as much as you want. And you probably can't get fat, but don't hold me to it. 
Oh yeah, there you go. Also have a little wine or beer, you beautiful fish. Hey, till next time guys, if you enjoyed this video, first off, give a thumbs up, comment below. How do you cook your cobia? Hey, till next time, we'll see you on the water.